guys, my name is Tilly, and you guys might remember me from this video. Which means that I, Tilly and her books, is officially going on to a book buying ban. And as much as that breaks my heart to say, I have to do it. Well, I just want you guys to know that f***ed up. Surprise, surprise, I went and bought some books. Which means that my book buying ban is completely destroyed and shattered because I did not just buy one book. Oh, no, no, no. Me being me, of course, had to go completely out and buy a complete stack of books that will not fit on my shelf. I have pretty much doomed myself to just having piles of books being left around because I can't stop myself from buying books. So I guess that I will be doing an April book haul video. So let's get started. The first book that I got is The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters and this is the book that I'm going to be annotating and highlighting and pretty much putting all little comments into for the winner of my recent book giveaway, A Literary Princess. So I'm pretty excited to read it. I hadn't heard of this book before, but thankfully, now that I have, I am very, very excited. Basically sounds like it's going to be a mystery thriller kind of book that's kind of set in older times, and I'm just pretty excited. Like, I reckon the characters are going to be pretty awesome throughout this, and that's going to be plenty of plot twists, and yes, I'm pretty keen to get around to this. And finally, I picked up The Winner's Kiss by Maria Rotkowski. Now, I've already read this book, so I don't know if it really counts as buying it, because I have it on my Kindle, so I've already read it. It, but you know it has to be on my shelves as well because I absolutely love this series and it's a beautiful beautiful book so this is a third book in the winner's curse trilogy so you have the winner's curse the winner's crime and the winner's kiss and pretty much if you guys like fantasy jump on it next up is one that I've been eyeing for a while when I went to Boffins they kind of had a discount night for their YA preview night and I thought that it was about time that I finally picked it up and that is Frontlines by Michael Grant and I have heard a lot of mixed reviews about this book so hopefully it will be as good as it sounds basically this is set in an alternative world during World War II where to kind of win the war against Hitler they have women soldiers involved in it and pretty much is kind of crazy because it's a new thing to have women soldiers so they not only have to deal with actually being in war but with a lot of men thinking that they're not good enough to be fighting for their side which is completely garbage because you know women are wicked now Amy from Boffins has also been telling me how great this next book is and so when I saw it I was kind of like I guess I'll buy it you know who even cares about a book buying ban so I did and that is Marisai by Maria Turchganioff and this is the Red Abbey Chronicles and it's just apparently amazing. So this book is a base in a world where women are pretty much held under men's control and this girl called Marisai ends up finding the safe haven that has been created which is the Red Abbey and as she's there she decides that everything is great you know she can control everything she wants to do and it's just amazing and then this other character called Jai comes and she is just like completely beat up and she arrives on a ship and the men that had her captive are gonna stop at nothing to get her back which means that they are pretty much putting the Red Abbey in danger and all of the girls within it. Basically, it's a pretty small book, which means I'm hoping I'm gonna read this one soon and by the sound of it and the reviews that I have read, it is going to be awesome. With this book, I decided that I was going to read a bit of it and it just made me completely fall in love with it. And I've only read like one page still. And that one is It's a Wonderful Death by Sarah J. Schmidt. And although it is a very beautiful cover and the blurb sounds really good, it was definitely the writing style that got me straight away. It has a very Rick Rawdon kind of style to it in the sarcastic and funny person that is the main character. So on the very first page, I'm not really spoiling anything, she is sitting there with this clairvoyant. I'm pretty sure it's a clairvoyant. Well, this old lady anyway. And as Death reaches out to touch this old lady, he touches her by accident and she gets sent down to the depths of hell where she has to either decide to wait around for all the souls to be sorted out or she can go back and live five of her life past memories and try to change the outcome that has happened and basically it's gonna be like a real fun sarcastic and kind of twisted story that I probably will love so this next pile of books is one that I've kind of warned everyone that I have been buying are going to buy and that is because I have recently gone through a huge Colleen Hoover obsession. Read Confess, Ugly Love, November 9 and Maybe Someday 
pretty quickly. I devoured those books. If you guys like romance, jump on that stuff. Um, and so I did what, you know, any other huge Colleen Hoover new reader would do when I ordered all of her other books. So as you guys can tell, I have a nice little pile here of one, two, three, six more Colleen Hoover books. Yay! I am really hoping that you guys will be able to tell me which ones to read first and which ones are better than the others. Like, I kind of already know they're all going to be good. So the first one that I got is Losing Hope. And by the blurb, what I'm gathering so far from the story is that this boy, when he was younger, lost his best friend who was called Hope. And pretty much he's been despairing about it as he's grown up and becoming this older person. And then he met a girl called Sky, who's a spitting image of this girl that he had lost when he was younger. And he has to, in this book, come to terms with what exactly happened because he blames himself for losing his friend. And pretty much Sky is going to help him along with that one. Never, never. And for a moment, I was terrified that this has something to do with ugly love because of the water on the scene. But it's okay, we're safe. It is about two friends that have pretty much grown up together and eventually fallen in love. And then one day they wake up and they don't remember anything. Point of retreat and by the sound of this one it is an existing relationship between a couple and they are both struggling to continue this relationship whereas she's very worried about where it's going, he's trying to jump over hurdles to prove his love for her and that they both kind of discover a lot about themselves and their young love together. And I'm pretty sure this is a prequel to that book. I think. Wait, is that a series? I don't know but they had the same characters so slammed as well which I'm pretty sure it's a prequel to this, where you find out more about the characters before they're in a relationship together. Maybe Not, which is a very short read. This is a novella from Maybe Someday, centering around the roommates Warren and Bridget, and pretty much I'm very excited to get around to this one. And much to Colleen Hoover's reputation, this one is hopeless, and this is about a mysterious boy and a girl with both have tragic backstories and learning to heal with each other. I'm so trash for these books. I am so trash for these books. So there you guys have my April book haul and basically all these books sound so good. Can you really blame me for breaking my book buying ban? I mean, come on, wouldn't you guys do it too? Thank you for watching. I will be back again with another video. Sorry that I have been pretty terrible with them lately. Um, things have been absolutely hectic for me. But I'm back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out all of my other social media sites below. Um, yeah, comment any questions or have a general chat with me because I'm totally cool to talk books. Yep, totally cool.